Hey everyone, and welcome back to Commander Clash. This week, we are trying out CEDH Commander. So we're playing Competitive Commander, trying to build, or trying to bring, rather, we're not building this deck. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to bring the most powerful decks to the table with the one objective, which is playing to win, trying our best to win the game. Everybody's coming in with that mindset, uh, not playing for second or anything. This time, we're trying to go for we're in spot number one with the most powerful uh, decks in the format. So let's kick it off with Seth. Uh, what are you playing? And uh, if you didn't build it yourself, uh, who, who built it? Uh, so this should be interesting. A uh, couple of weekends ago, I was at a, a paper magic event and I met someone named Charles, the mono white guy, and he was telling me about his AO or OW, whatever you, however you want to say, oh. I call it AO, but, uh, but yeah, <laughs> uh, the mono white ad nauseum deck that he and some of his uh, people had been working on and he played it in a tournament and it was like top four or something in this big CDH tournament. And it sounded ridiculous. Just all the synergies and lines that you have with this deck. So I am playing uh, his deck, this mono white ad nauseum. It's actually called trying to turn AO into this insane sort of card, a uh, source of card advantage that eventually ends up assembling an infinite combo and winning the game. So we'll see this deck looks incredibly hard to play. It's all about mm -hmm. like manipulating the stack and the timing of various triggers to make things work the way it's supposed to. So there might be some punning. Uh, hopefully, I can stumble my way through it and uh, and do some cool things. Sounds very sweet. I, you have to you have to say oh every single time you cast Ayo. Ayo, oh yeah. I feel like that's a requirement. I will. Don't worry. I got you. Sushi go. You have to say yeah. It. Yeah, of course. Or else it doesn't. Or else it's immediately countered. I think if we're doing yeah. something in your rule set. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It sounds sweet. All right. Moving on. We got Krim, a.k.a. the Asian Avenger. What are you running this week? And uh, if you didn't build it, who uh, submitted it? Or who did you, who built it? Uh, I, I, the person that built it is this, uh, uh, this, this really weird dude. It's me. Um, and, uh, it's Sick. because the, the, it is my actual paper CDH deck. So, uh, I recently got in a CDH, uh, with some friends. And through that, that got me down, like, it got me into, like, the format a little bit more and I've been trying to noodling around with it a little bit. Uh, so yeah, mm -hmm. I'm playing a Nimrus Una's trickster deck. Um, and yeah, so like going to do a lot of things on your turn, just like how I like doing. Uh, mm -hmm. and it's weird cause this isn't the usual kind of pod. I'm not the only blue deck usually. Uh, so, or I don't know, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe like, That's like, like this is not the usual pod, but, but, uh, <laughs> for the most part, I, I am playing a Nimrus <laughs> deck. So, I do real like do have of course the thoracal combo, but like uh, that is not my main way to win. And I've often found myself playing this deck, actually like how I just play my standard and my my pioneer decks. It's just draw go counter you and beat you down with a hole breaker horror, All, the whole tape. I'm not joking. Like it actually is just that. <laughs> oh my god, sounds fun. <laughs> the the Nimr the the thoracal combo is the backup plan for me. That's how I play this deck, which is probably wrong. Opponents conceding is the primary way <laughs> Another another solid way of doing things. <laughs> <laughs> My personal favorite. Oh, fantastic. All right. Uh, this is the most crim way of playing CDH I've ever heard in yes. my life. Uh, yeah. All right. Moving on. Cheers we got Phil that. AK's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Moving on. We got Phil AK Bruce Kitchen. What are you running today? I'm playing Aminatu in Kitten Wonderland uh, with a list by Henning from Oops All Salt, a German CEDH group. Now, Aminatu isn't notorious for being a CEDH commander, but looking at the list, it does have some pretty cool things going on. That being said, I'm surely going to have some misplays here because <laughs> this seems kind of complicated. Mm. But, I mean, it blinks stuff, so... I know how to do this. It seems very <laughs> fun. And of course, I mean, there's a Thorica in there. I mean, Certainly. gotta win somehow. <laughs> I mean, you're in blue. It, it seems appropriate. You're in blue and black, you know? <laughs> uh, and then finally, hello, this is Homer. Uh, I have a Niv Mizzet CDH deck. That's my only deck that I play for CDH. But I decided to try something different this time. This is Wynoda, Joiner of for uh, Forces. Ooh. Uh, this is a aggro slash stacks list um, that was uh, a primer uh, that was made by a comedian 
Um, I'll have a link to it, obviously, in the uh, in the video or in the in the notes below. Um, but yeah, this is basically an aggro deck. Um, it's an aggro deck trying to beat you down with like stacks pieces, and eventually, uh, it does have some combo lines as well. Um, and I just thought aggro and CDH sounds really interesting, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so those are our decks for right now. Uh, but before we jump into the game, two quick reminders. First, if you want to purchase all these sweet decks or cards, or if you want to buy Infinity or Brothers War, which is coming out, whatever the set is, I don't even know, I can't keep track of them all. Whatever the set is coming out, uh, now, uh, you can buy them over at our sponsor, cardingcom slash mcugoldfish, and be sure to ask for a scoop sticker in the order notes. And the other way you can support the channel is you can head on over to our store, mcugoldfishmerch.com. You can purchase deck boxes, deck sleeves, t-shirts, and so much more over there. And then with all that out of the way, let's hop into the game. Bam! All right, we are in the game. Everybody kept a starting hand. I believe uh, Seth, Phil, and I all kept a starting seven. Krim, well, down to six. Uh, who lost uh, the human tribal or what was eliminated Oof, first? Yeah, that uh, <coughs> would have been me. I mean. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a fail. So the honor yeah. is your fill, yours, Phil. What 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 do we have to do before I we can start? I think it's uh, time to clash on. Yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> clash all right. On. Heck yeah! I went first. This is awesome. Um, so I disagree. Do this. I agree. To disagree. Windswept Heath. The stacks player going first is the worst. Heck yeah. yeah. It's the worst. Heck yeah. This 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 deck list better have a plateau. Oh, by the way, for everybody who's watching, um we are definitely not CDH players. I would say <laughs> I would not describe any of us as CDH players. Yeah. Um so we're just dabbling and we're having fun. So I apologize to anybody who's like super enfranchised and CDH watching this right now. We're trying our best. We don't. We're no. We did not read like extensive primer, or at least speaking for myself, I did not read any extensive primers or anything going into this. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of winging it. So uh, mistakes abound. Uh, these these decks are kind of complicated, more complicated than your average deck, I would say. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, so far this looks like a normal deck. Turn one S yeah, percent. No, turn that's, one. That's fine. Okay. Plateau into wow, an S percent. Okay. This actually and... looks worse than a normal deck. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean? Limited all star for Xene Walker. C E D H for Walker. Staple? Go. <laughs> I swear I did not modify this list to put in for Walker. It just happens to be really good with my Nota. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Nothing yeah, that yeah. crazy. So Tomer's gonna draw some cards. No, uh, we'll be all responsible hashtag gamers, right? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, you can't you can't play around the turn. You can't not play your stuff on. Well, turn you're one. gonna just you're just gonna lose out on tempo by not playing your things. You yeah. gotta you gotta play your stuff. There's no way. Mox Heck Diamond yeah. must be nice. no. Okay, little there little fast go. man. Nom, nom 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 nom. There you go. I'm just I mean, it's just one card, right? Wow. Yeah, it's not that bad. Everybody relax. That's not that bad, right? All right, pass. Ooh, Woo! That's a, that's a that, is, mana. that is a spicy point. turn. I would, yeah, I would, I would do that for giving me one card. Uh, okay. I feel like Homer's Tomer, got. Would you like a card? <laughs> <laughs> I think Tomer has a, a stony <laughs> silence. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't, we're going to draw him into it by casting <laughs> all yeah. of our I spells. Know, I don't know if the deck runs Stony Silence. Or or a Stony Kataki Silence Kataki or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I honestly could not tell you. My turn's oh. not quite as good as Oh, that's great. I, I don't get the mana ball. actually better, I think. Yeah, it's it's about equal. Well, well you, you ramped out three mana. Krim ramped, Krim ramped out, out two five. mana and then one condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah this, five well, mana. The, the, the mana vault is like a one-off, right? Like, I, it is. I don't think <laughs> I'm this ever is, paying. This for is that. also CDH, though. <laughs> Usually, you ramp into something that just wins the game, right? And then Phil tapped, gain land, go. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Let's yeah. 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 make Toma draw cards. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Into that stony silence. No, no, Man, no, if no, you no. have stony Who? silence, we are doomed. Who was Wait it that said S. Sentinel was overrated? Who was it? 
I, I, whoever that was uh, on the podcast, it was me. Take it back, me. Right. Or it was me. I say it's over. Look at I mean, this. It's already an ancestral recall. In, it's it's already drawn three. In CDH, I said it was not that great and casual. It's in, <laughs> okay. in CDH. It's obviously good, right? But like, it's obviously garbage. Look at this. In CDH, I, I agree. It is amazing. Where's all of my ramp? I don't see any of my ramp. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna need it. Also, I feel like you have a dockside, which is gonna win you the game if you do. Have God, that. dockside and just oh, a real game plan seems to be just. I thought that dockside. was Dan. I thought that was house rules. So, oh, well. <laughs> question bad news. for you: <laughs> How last so this fair while stone works? Oh, and, oh yes. Again. Oh yes. Um, fell war stone. Do you think going first is this. more Woo! of an advantage during CDH than casual commander? Oh, one hundred percent. So it's more, even this more. Is, of this a... is the format of the turn. Like you saw that Esper Sentinel. If I played, if I play last on the turn order and I put an Esper Sentinel, it would be nothing. Yep. Yeah, it does seem like turn order really plays into it. Also, nothing, nothing boils my boils my briskets more than uh, turn one <laughs> Rissic study. Before anybody gets to play magic, especially in CDH. Boiling your briskets, huh? What? <laughs> it's a common saying. I've definitely heard it. <laughs> Boiling your briskets. <laughs> what? Ah, you Canadians. <laughs> Wait, do you even boil a brisket and you can sous vide it, right? But yeah, why would you? That, that, I mean, isn't sous vide just pretty much boiling? It is super low heat <laughs> I don't, boiling. I don't right? speak so, French. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, so how, eat, how can like, you low heat boil? Isn't water so, either boiling or not boiling? Isn't there just like a point where it is or isn't? How do you... So, sous vide... I'm so confused. It, it, have you ever seen a sous vide? It's essentially... It looks like a bottle of food. I haven't even seen a brisket. Oh, okay. Well, what? <laughs> oh, wow. Either it's from oh. Canonist. Perfect. Please huh. and thank you. Sure. Uh... Each player gets a non-artifact. Okay. Look, well, you all have artifacts. Okay, you, sure. You could I play I plenty of them. In fact, yeah. Stacks piece number one. Hooray! Hooray! Um, gosh, I wish I had ramp. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go in for the poke. We're gonna poke. We're gonna poke for him. We're gonna spread the love. Why am I always the first person getting poked? <laughs> because you have a mana vault up, and Seth has an arcane signet up. And both I don't do know this, why I'm both do the, the same thing. They both. I don't know. What if he mana. has? What if he has that new infinity card that's white, and then it like you do? You have to do a trapeze flip on it, and it well, the battlefields. Don't don't get caught by whatever that card is. You're also you're also on ad nauseum. Although Seth said he's also on white ad nauseum, but that bring uh, hurts my brain. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, I still Hopefully my deck it. goes off at some point, so yeah. we can actually see it, or else it's going to be disappointing. So don't my, kill me. So you can my see my white ad nauseum. CDH, <laughs> no, yeah, my so understanding cool. for CDH if anybody who runs ad nauseum is supposed to hit them to lower their life total so they can ad nauseum for less. So wait, that's, that's... I don't run ad nauseum. Oh, my, yeah. my ad nauseum is Ayo, so I don't Ayo. actually lose life. That's the that's upside. Uh, we're going to enlighten Tutor here. Tomer, would you like to draw a card? Ah, uh, you know what? I'll take it. Yeah, you think so? I'll take Maybe. it. Maybe. Oh, it's fine. I'll take it. I'll I... take what we can get, you know? The worst, the worst part of this is I have no idea what I'm getting. <laughs> I'm, getting <laughs> yeah. a, I'm getting a card. <laughs> if you counter this, Krim, then Tomer gets a card for nothing. Do Are you going to let Seth get away with this just random enlightened suit? Or it could be anything. I'm just trying to... I, I want to go look oh. for something, too. So hold on one second. Oh, do you but actually I'm, have opposition oh. agent? Oh! Oh, my God. That would be... I mean, you know you know, Krim does have opposition agent in his deck. So. <laughs> no, I'm just going to play this. <laughs> uh, okay, oh, okay that's, that's fine. I'm just, that's fine. I'm just oh. getting around oh. the, the Aether Sworn Canonist uh, like stuff sure. now, right? Like, Yeah, this doesn't really affect you. Aether Sworn Canonist... Uh, each player, I guess for, I guess our, uh, audience probably doesn't know some of these cards because we don't really play CDH, but each player, yeah. uh, who has cast a non-artifact spell can only, can, can only cast one other, other spell. 
right? What do you mean? Yep. No, that's what? it. Once yeah. you've casted a non-artifact yeah. spell this turn, you okay. cannot cast an additional. You can cast non-artifact. one yeah. non-artifact yeah. each turn. Yeah. You can cast um, one non-artifact spell each turn, which is okay for a draw good. go deck, right? Like that's and not it's a big pretty deal. good against uh, Thassa's Oracle combos. Yes. Yep. Yep. Gotta get rid of this at some point. Yes. And then now Seth is gonna go dig through his deck with an enlightened tutor for an artifact or enchantment. And yeah. for those that don't know, Nimrus Unis Trickster flash flying one six, so super thick. And whenever I cast my first spell during each opponent's turn, look at the top two cards of your library, put one of those into my hand, and I burp. That booty's so big. Yeah. Oh yeah. Super yeah. thick. Super thick. Well, I mean, okay, we just. I guess we just do that. Yeah, okay. We're going to take this. We're going to take, take Ashnod's Altar. <clears throat> oh, that's a good card. Yeah. That's, that's good. a good that's Magic the Gathering card. That's not a bad card. Oh. Um, uh, Krim is leaving mana up, though, which is frightening. It's two uh, mana, though. What could it be? Mana Drain? He doesn't play that. Mana Drain. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> it would it's be just... a very Krim thing to have. I mean, I'm not uh, even sure that you're the threat, though, right? Until you present something. It's true. Also, also, one thing that is a little bit awkward that I used to play was like, like, like when I when I was asking a bunch of people about it, it was cards like, uh, Teferi, uh, the five mana one, and I found out that apparently, it, if you lock out the other blue players, they can't help you. So. <laughs> oh, you mean I, the three mana one? Mm. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. Five mana one, or or the three mana one. Either one. The three mana one's fine. Would you like to pay the one. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I cannot. Excellent. Okay. This this Ezra <laughs> Sentinel is going off <laughs> to the max. Very wow. Good. Well, I think it's trash. On honestly, five in CDH, it's, five. it's very good, right? Like in CDH, yeah. it's very good. It also it has a much one. higher drop off than a Rhystic study. Like if you if you an Esper Sentinel on turn one is far superior than Esper Sentinel on turn five, like exponentially so. Um well Just because the longer uh, game, the more ramp. Sense, have. sense Phil has the grand abolisher. <clears throat> I guess I gotta just run whenever, this up now. Yeah, whenever an opponent searches their library for a card, you, draw uh, a card you get to draw a card in game life. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. All right. That's, that's, that's really that's good. all we got. That's all we that's got. Right Real now. nice. Right now, not sure. Not sure if I was supposed to run out the Ashnod's altar or not. Honestly, that's a bit scary. Yeah, I don't know. I don't mm. know. All right, Phil, take three. I dare you. At least search your library. A few never times. fails. I know it. <laughs> Tails failed. Oh, yes. down to thirty-six. <laughs> Phil's Phil's I thought Tails never fails though. Yeah, I, I don't well, know what happened there. Ah, uh, how about you draw cards, huh? That sounds... I mean, I'll take it. I'll take a... So you cast Talisman of Progress, I draw another card. Ten Winota, cards in hand. If Winota comes down this turn, we are kind of out of luck. Winota costs four, I only... Well, you well but there's like a million easily... fast mana. Fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you yeah, could we'll easily see. just we'll drop. See. Yeah, like, like we cannot let two... Like, actually, it's only one trigger currently, because it mm. can't be a human attacking, so... That Phyrexian Walker, which I'm not gonna lie to you, I forgot Phyrexian Walker existed. I yeah, I mean, <laughs> easy, easy. It's to limited all star Phyrexian Walker. No. What do you mean? I mean, I it, it's think a, it's, it's a, a limited all star. <laughs> might die, but uh, oh, I mean, not to the Fate Shifter. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm well. gonna explain the abilities while I'm doing it. So plus it, draw a card, then put a card on from your hand on top of your library. Let's do. That you got miracles in there mm-hmm. sounds good, huh? I am not sure. What Yo, if you, I, I would be so oh, upset gosh. if you totally terminist. <laughs> Preferably at instant speed once Winota hits the battlefield. That would be the best. Oh <laughs> God, yes. <laughs> not a fan. Oh, yeah, I like the stony silence. I think he just wins. <laughs> I don't I think, think I don't so think too. the rest of the table can beat his Tony Silence here. Uh, you want to draw a card? Crack that Yo, I'm not the only deck that, that can run fetch. a yeah. Crack Stony that Zons. fetch. <laughs> Look but at this. We're, basically, this is basically a group hug. We're all group hugging each other, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you did say you're the friendly stack. game. Uh, all right. So we get to draw and gain a life. Nice. 
And since Ether Sworn Canonist doesn't affect artifacts, how about I play another artifact? Play Mana Vault and pass. How scary is Aminatu? Like, should we be trying um, to kill that? Is that like a real threat? Probably, because it blinks. Okay. Yeah, I guess it can do something <clears throat> scary next turn, maybe. Because, I mean, that's at least a guaranteed six mana for Phil, right? Because he can tap Mana Vault, blink Mana Vault. Sure. Ooh, yeah. Even, yeah, even just a Mana Vault's kind of scary, right? Yeah. yeah. Although Tomer has 11 Magic the Gathering cards in hand. Yeah, that's a I lot, finally, of, the threat, lot no. of Magic I'm cards. so excited because I finally, I finally found a ramp card. <laughs> Here comes Winota. No. Oh, yeah. Solaring? Wait, that's, that is that can Winota. Be Winota. It is a ramp want, card. If you want Winota. Yeah. Wait, why would I mean, Krim has two cards in hand, so like... Yeah. I mean, he didn't counter Ashnod's Altar or Aminatu. Why, why would we put none of those <laughs> maybe win the he's game? Been, <laughs> maybe he's been waiting for the Winota, but... That's true. Uh, Maybe the sequencing wasn't great here, actually, but whatever. Ranger Ranger Captain Captain uh, yeah, so setting up for so uh, when it ends the battle, you search the library turn. for a creature yeah. card, mana value one or less, um, and then you put it into your hands, and then you can sacrifice it. Your opponents can cast non-creature spells this turn. So I'm going to use its ability. Krim, if you, Krim has Dark Ritual Opposition Agent. I got got. It's fair enough. Okay, I get to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I do I not respect that. Oh, I, I do not have that. Wouldn't it work? I gotta so respect far, so it. Good. Um, what are we getting? Mm, well, your your Fraxian Walker is uh, already gone, so yeah, I guess it. you fail to find, probably. Yeah, I fail yeah. to find. That seems like a that seems like the thing I would do. Man, if only there were to join your Walker. Anything else that your deck could have. <laughs> <laughs> Or an um, Mem Knight. Show us the Mem Knight. I don't believe it has anything. Gosh. Um, I guess we do go for this. Actually, you're right. When you're right, you're right. We'll, we'll Are get you this. actually getting an Ornithopter? Probably no. right. Or uh -oh. I mean, uh, yes. that's actually a very good <laughs> card. It works with Winota, and you can actually cast <laughs> oh, it this yeah. turn. Yep. It is the Ornithopter, and you get to draw a card off this. It is the Ornithopter. Although that's some. Um, Shameful M fifteen art. <laughs> are, are, are you gonna? Are you going to shame our sponsor, CardOrder.com, for giving me this the, for, for bequeathing me? Whoa, this signal! Oh boy, signal. Pass. So next turn's oh, yeah. gonna be Ooh, bad. next. Turn, we we die pass, if battle if cry. Anything. Anything. Yeah, we need to except by creatures with flying or reach. Uh, uh, we're just gonna pass a turn. We That's need to. Doing. We need to stop Tomer this turn, or he's gonna win. You need to yeah, do surely my deck plays Decree of Pain, you need to right? Just That's a relax. EDH state. All right. thing. Funny just that relax. you mentioned that. Uh, I I realize that nobody plays board wipes, so everyone's been countering the, the Thoracle meta by playing all these creature decks, so I went up board wipes. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Krim just no. actually playing his Nimrus deck that he played like a few months ago for Commander Clash. It's a, it's the same same deck. I didn't <laughs> play the around the thing. board wipe deck. <laughs> Jeez. And it's the best part is that it's it's the I, I mean I, I I need to find it. It's not I don't have it. I'm just saying that okay, I yeah. do. you do only have yeah. Oh, oh look oh, at you. Goodness. At least I get to draw a card first before that happens. Oh, so it's probably actually like Nars said part of Veil. It kind of shuts down the like, Esper Sentinel. I, I need uh, a dig. No one, can't draw more than one card. No one each else turn. gets to this means no one else gets to draw cards, though. And oh yeah, no, that's a you, you don't have an answer to Tomer. Like that's well. Oh, I don't know if I agree. Right. I don't know if this is a good so, play. I, I, can, I have to dig, right? I have to dig. Yeah. Opponents but how are you? What are you going to dig into? That's that you can cast with one mana. Oh, oh like that. Oh. Okay. okay, you got the one mana wrath. <laughs> well, I don't have a one mana sure. wrath, but I do have free oh, spells. Okay, chain of vapor. That that stops. Okay, that stops Narset at least, so we can. That's good. That's something um, at least. Yeah. Or stops uh, Winota at least. Sure. Or might well, stop I mean, Winota at least. Well, so, because so, remember, but he's got the Ranger Captain of Eos, yeah. 
Each yeah. opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. You can negative two, look at the top four cards of their library, you may reveal a non creature. The chain of vapor is just like a bounce that I can sacrifice. Like the, the tar- owner of the bounce card can uh, sacrifice a land to keep it going. Keep the chain going. The good times rolling. Uh, okay, now that we did that, let's. Uh, can you answer win the, the game? Ranger captain? What if he just wins the game? I mean, he could. <laughs> Think about that. Have you, you tried have winning? The Ashnod's altar is right there. Yeah. Have you tried winning? Seth? I do have Ashnod's altar. That is true. I can't stop the Ranger Captain at the moment. I mean, what about? He, is it uh, AO time? AO. I'm, it might be. It might be AO time. That might be my best bet for finding an answer to this. So you want to cast one non-artifact spell. All right. So I think what we do is. Let's play Esper Sentinel first. At least you all know you don't you don't have to pay for Tomer's Esper Sentinel. Alright, sure. let's play let's play a You need to pay for it once, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You need to pay for it once, right? Oh, and it only triggers once. So it only triggers once. It, it doesn't really <laughs> Alright, it's 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 AO time. AO. 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 So the main the main thing you want to do with AO is sack it and look at your top seven cards and try to put some things into play from among them. Uh, ideally, there would be a couple more pieces to go with this, but I think with how the board is, we just have to sacrifice AO and put plus one plus one uh, counters on all your vehicles and creatures and attack <laughs> and attack Tomer wow. for four. Um, <laughs> Yeah, back to the command zone. All right, let's see what we get. We have to go seven cards deep. It, do Hopefully not play something some that that shuts me off from like interacting with with the. Well, n- well, no, I'm not trying to do that. Although the ranger captain is going to shut you off from interacting with Tomer. M- maybe, maybe it will. We'll see. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, we'll syrup that pancake when we get there. As they hmm. say, pain would be so good. Yeah. You could even cycle it to get around all the. I mean, you wouldn't draw with Naset, but I I would uh, decree of pain. C E D H staple. I'm so excited to. Yet. I'm so excited to see A O in C E D H. That seems so good. Yeah, actually, this deck is so low key. Like Seth is telling us he's going infinite, but I still uh, I believe. I want to see it. See yeah, it. yeah. You might actually. You might get away with bringing this to a regular episode and just... Is it, is it true? Oh, oh yeah. Magnus of the Balance. Those, those were not Hell great yeah. hits. Magnus, mm. though, does uh, have summoning sickness, so it doesn't actually do anything at the moment. Right. And uh, you can return Archivist of Augment to your hand. Value. Yeah, got him. Um... So I think we actually have to bounce... Right. I think it's actually got to be the Arcane Signet here. So we bounce our cane signet because yeah. I need more white mana. But we oh. played a spell already. But but you can play artifacts. I yeah, can you can play, play the signet, but what are you going to do with white? Maybe play another Esper Sentinel. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mm, yes. Uh, yeah, Tomer. You get a white mana. <laughs> I get to draw a card. This is bad. But you, you don't actually get to draw a card. Because <laughs> there's an art there's an art set. No, but that we only win. stops the okay. first draw each turn. Each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. This is the first yeah. card I drew this turn. Oh Merci right. beaucoup. You got him. Um yeah, Tomer's stacks pieces are making this difficult. But it's not, it's light Ooh. stacks. Do you even call this stacks? I'd call this Only tickles. being able to cast one spell each turn is... These are that's tickles. A, These that's are a pretty little... effective source of stacks. Eh? This is h- hugs. Oh, oh here we go. He has it. Whoa. Here it is. I have it, but it doesn't do much. <laughs> yeah, this right. one, Candidus, is not doing anything to you. It's, we're hanging out together. Uh, we're having a good kinda... time together. I could have AO'd Did you find a a sweeper? Did you find a sweeper? I'm not even sure if I play a sweeper, but... uh, What? (laughs) You got to at least run a toxic deluge, right? I hope so. Okay. All right. No no one can interact with Phil because of his Grand Arbiter, so he can do whatever he wants. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. yeah. Combo off. The Swan Cannonist just shuts me down, though. Oh, I won the flip. Tails never fails. Told ya. Excellent. That's a good start. 
Uh, no, I would not pay four for this. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Pretty sure the creator of the deck would probably tell me that I got a winning line here. <laughs> really? Um. How do you win? Go for it. Nominatu. Well, he has three cards in hand. I mean, it's very it's, yeah. But what yeah. like single card would you play that? Is there like a two card combo with Aminatu that I don't know it, about? I, it's not. I don't think it's Aminatu that's going to win the game. No, is there Aminatu is there like a really Teferi's Veil really combo with it? I mean, I guess if you have like Thoracle or something, you could. Well, you can only cast one spell though, so that doesn't even work, huh? You have to like hmm. answer the blink something that can blink Aminatu and repeat that over and over again. But is there is there like a is there like a creature or permanent that's like when it enters the battlefield, blink target permanent, and you can blink Amanatsu, and then I'm gonna try to re-enter the battlefield. But how would that win the here. game though? Like if you, if you have like an guardian, al- alter of the it, brood, but... alter of the okay, brood or something. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. Sense. So if you got a third piece, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, just, I don't know. Those that could work. Yeah. So the problem is, it's not guaranteed. Uh, literally, it's kind of risky. Well, right. Tomer is going Damn to probably dish. win on his yeah. turn, so... I mean, it's a man. roulette, right? Like, I don't know what I'm going to hit off of <laughs> Winota. Let me this, just if I even, I'll, even if One, even two, if I can three, do it, because Krim is, like, making six, noises, seven, like, eight. it's not happening. With Ranger Captain, I don't know how you can not not do it. You could have, like, a... What's it called? A free black removal spell? But then the Canonist would stop the next thing, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah, it might be difficult for I don't know. Maybe maybe he has oh Odawara. Hmm? Oh yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Channeling would work. That yeah. would get around it. Odawara. Go for it, Phil. Nah, I, I don't even think I have enough here. Oh. Just gonna so I don't oh, think I he has could. enough for Odawara. You oh, could nine, would draw a terminus. No. <sighs> yeah, draw a terminus. Yeah, let's see if I can get terminate. Man, I that's the problem with playing CEDH. I'm just too scared to misplay and just don't take the line. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry. The comment section is going to hit us anyway. Oh, actually, oh, wait. yeah. Wait, you can't you draw. Oh, well. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, this, this uh, so the, oh, the Narset Oh, the Narset For the card out. Right. Just out. ending the game for me. Right, uh, oh, right before oh, saying, goodness. I'm afraid <laughs> I'm going to mess up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, to dear. be honest, uh, Narset should have never been printed, okay? It was just <laughs> a mistake. That, so that I think we all agree with that. It's fair and balanced, all right? Uh. Ay, ay, ay. This is going to be so bad. This was amazing. Oh. All that right, was Krim. amazing. I was, I was joking. Ay, ay, ay. Well. Well. Look who gets on top here. Wow. Oh, dear. <laughs> I think this Narset was really good. It can't good be for, that good, right? It was really like, good for Tomer. I've played against Benoit in a lot of formats, wait, and usually the, you the, always the, win. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but, like, I'm, I'm, I only have, like, three three creatures that are going to be doing stuff, right? So It's like... Yeah, like you'll be, you'll be fine. We're going to start you'll cast like, this. Your opponents can't cast non-creature spells this turn. All right, I'm going to respond to that. That makes They're sense. They're going to cast Chain of Vapor. Chain of Vapor. I mean, yes. I guess you hit something that's not a human, even though yeah. Canonist is the best card, oh. just to minimize the triggers. Yeah. Maybe Signal Pest. At least that's a mana to recast. Oh, I don't get to draw a card, but Seth gets to draw a card. Wait, you're hitting my Magus of the Balance? Yeah, you can sack what? something and then help me get rid of something. What? No. What? No. <laughs> what? No, I'm not. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> what? In the, okay. Uh, so, Esper Sentinels are going to trigger. Wait, Nimbus what? Why trigger. are you? Why are you bouncing the Magus of the Balance? Because the net permanent controller. I was wondering that myself. Uh, that can, okay. That permanent controller may sacrifice a land. If the player does, they may copy the spell and may choose a new target. Oh yeah, Seth, just sacrifice your lands. So you were counting on me sacrificing <laughs> land to deal with the Tomer problem? Okay. Uh, <laughs> look, well, look, I'm, look, I may not I, 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 <laughs> I, want to, I, I want it to be a table thing, right? Like, why not help, <laughs> right, help right, us right. all do something? And then you can... I, Let's all work I, together, gang. 
Yeah, let's just work together. I am slightly tempted to sack something and just bounce Crim's best permanent. <laughs> but then I think you... he'll probably do that. And then when we just take each other out of the game, going back and forth doing that. So, <laughs> I mean, look, look, look. Just you, you sack a lion. You don't, you don't need you target, that you target, stuff, right? so you target, no, uh, Tomer's thing. No. <laughs> Wow! Well, uh, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you, you prevent one one Winota trigger. Is that worth for your land? No. I mean, yeah. Nope. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Is this? I don't was think this so. of the balance even doing anything? I don't want to find out. <laughs> I mean, you enough. have three uh, three <laughs> artifacts. Well, you have less creatures and less. La- I don't know. You think would, you would make me would discard you, some like, lands even at all. Hand. Like, I guess maybe you discard a card, but. Look, I huh. was fine with this, right? Okay. Whoa! Wow, Phil, Phil has something. Uh, Dress down. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. That's gonna stop Winota for a turn. It loses all creatures lose all abilities. But they're still they're still non-humans, no? Yeah, but Winota will not have the uh, uh, Do I pay? Oh, mm, clever, yeah, sneaky. And you get back the card that you put on top of your deck. What a what a win. <laughs> Did it cost more? I think I tapped three mana. Yeah. It's... Oh, I oh, guess I already paid for one. No. What? Does this mean any creatures that... So any creatures that enter the battlefield also don't have abilities, right? This stays on oh, the yeah, battlefield is... for the turn. Yeah. So it's a static ability as okay. long as it's on the battlefield. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And now, now Ranger Captain doesn't do anything. Well, well, no, Ranger well, Captain. Well, Ranger Captain's already on the stage. So yeah, thing. yeah, but but like my play was gonna be Winota. So oh this yeah, this does stops. stop Winota. Oh, look at this yep. card I drew. Huh. Almost like I put this on top there for no reason. <laughs> you were playing around the Thoughtseize at instant speed. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. Well, I think I still run out Winota because I want her to be on the battlefield. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Well, yeah, right. I mean, yeah, well. uh, uh, no, I misclicked. I wanted to play a fetch land to get around because Archivist of Ogmas. Oh, this was your chance to get around the Archivist. Line. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I think we still play Winota. Dress Down actually seems really good. I feel like I should add this to more commander decks. It's very good. Yeah. trips, that's only two mana. Like, it seems worth it in, like, a lot of decks. Yeah, this is custom Winota. And With no abilities. <laughs> no abilities. See, I don't even know why people think Winota is good. It's just a 4-4 for 4. Now, all the indestructible <laughs> things that go into that Winota deck are a little threatening. So, But luckily, I I hope I draw my thing that gets around that. I hope you don't. Okay, no attacks. Why not? Wait. Actually, I mean, I could just... Uh, no, I can't do anything. All right. We pass. We pass the turn. We hang out. I mean, as good as Dressdown was here, it was probably my only chance of comboing through oh, is this that a... East Lethos one canonist. Oh, to to oh. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's yeah, get but rid so of I... Gemstone Caverns and I assume Scalding Tarn. This canonist is probably going to go away eventually. Like yeah, I feel I like out of everything to, on the table, oh, yeah. that's probably the highest priority target for everyone at this point. Maybe not Krim. Well, there's also the Grand Abolisher, which is scary too. It means if if Phil does get to, if if the canonist is off the table, then we can't interact with Phil's combo, right? That is true. What? That is true. Yeah. So you kind of want both. I think you want the canonist off, and you want the Abolisher off. But if you just remove the canonist, then that's bad news, bears. Oh! Uh, what? What did you do? You failed to find? No, it was that the box that showed up was super tiny, so I thought it didn't oh, sh- no. I, I had to respond to the trigger. Oh, my God. Oh, no! It showed up in, like, the miniature oh. form. <laughs> Why? Oh, Why? Boy. Why? Why? Why would you have it be that tiny? That is the... Oh, my God. That's like the worst... Dis- oh, my God. I hate Moto. Oh. It was the worst time with Moto. I honestly do. I honestly... It showed up like this little pixel. Hey. <laughs> now Central mm-hmm. exists One, two, in the first three, place. Four. It's just... I mean, uh, like, oof, regardless oof, oof. of that, that's... that's the, Oh, my God. That's so... Uh, what was revealed? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, don't yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It didn't show up. Didn't even it, see it. Yeah. He yeah, looks at it. You don't reveal all for it. Yeah. That's yeah. rough. Just a tip for Krim here. Anime Naset is on Modo if you... 
go well, to Card Hoarder and get the r- correct art for it. Right. <laughs> I mean, I do, I do draw. love that art. I don't know if that helps me with a miniature box that shows up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we gain a life. Boom. You didn't crack it for something. Not yet. This is oh, man. Ooh. Oh, I hate man. having tutors in my hand, but not knowing what I can tutor for because... Generally speaking, when I'm at home, I, I have two monitors, so I could easily look up the primer, but right now, going in blind. <laughs> Sorry, viewers, if you're looking at my hand and like, just cast this. I don't know. Ooh, oh. Seth is in a, can we win this turn uh, mindset. Yes, yes, he's playing the piano. Oh, those are my, my counting fingers. <laughs> uh, the question you is, need an abacus. Wait. Where's your abacus, Seth? So it's four. Hmm. I do need an abacus. That would that would be actually super helpful right now. Where's our MTG Goldfish merch abacus? How so, how how many petitions uh, do we need for to to convince Richard that it's a good financially <laughs> wise decision? I, I'm sure I, someone. I would buy one. I I'd, I'd buy one. I would buy, one. I'd buy two. Four. Petition so four. We crack this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten left. Seven, two. Oh. oh. Math, math sounds hard though. Oh. Yep. I don't. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this or not. Oh my god. Um. All right. We're. We're going to sack this. We're going to crack this Inventor's Fair. See, you've already, you've already done the thing that Chain Vapor would have done. Where is the We're opposite gonna... in agents? You're cracking Inventor's Fair, searching a library for an artifact, and Krim, your one job is opposition agent. My one job is to stop the table, but the table has not done exactly uh How about instead of stopping... How about instead of stopping the table, you just Nim let it happen? Death I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> cast a, a Nim Death Mantle. We like it the gives, it gives one. a creature plus that's... two plus two in intimidate. Oh, do you have any creature that's like makes a token when it enters the battlefield, and then you can go infinite fashion of the altar and Nim Death Mantle? Mm, no, I don't. No, then how are you? No, unfortunately, Is... that's a no. combo piece. I don't think that. It, oh, no I way mean, that's not a combo. Nim piece. Death Mantle and Astronaut's Altar. Combo is like a billion different ways. It's either like a persist creature, because then you can sacrifice it twice, and the second time you sacrifice it, you get it back from the death mantle. Or it's like any creature that makes a token, because when you sacrifice both creatures, you make four mana and you pay for the Nim Death Mantle that way. That's uh, usually yeah, the way. Equi- the, the Nim Death Mantle makes it so essentially equipped creature gets plus two plus two, intimidate, and is a zombie. Yes. And, and then, then yeah, whenever... just stop reading there. <laughs> stop reading there. You don't need. Yeah, you don't yeah. need to know the rest of it. Pay, pay this, no attention. To... What's this part here? When the, whenever a non... when the equipped creature dies, you can pay four and non-token. put it back on the battlefield. Non-token creature. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are not going to return our archivist to play. Why not? Uh, so that's two, three, four, five, back. six. We're going to sack this as percent. No. Oh, he's going for that Ao. Back I into think. Play. Ao. Ao. Um. All right. And then we're gonna play. Oh, if you if you do your triggers properly, right? Like you can sacrifice Ao, and then you can Ayo. let Ao's ability resolve first to get more creatures, and then you can eat, sacrifice those to get back Nim, like to get back Ao from Nim Death Mantle, and keep going that way. I think that's how the deck wins, that right? Seems that so is. Yeah. That is the idea. Yeah. The problem is I don't quite have enough mana to equip the death mantle at the moment. Oh, because you needed you needed four floating. It's four, or no, you four to, to equip. Yeah, you did it to float two mana to sacrifice AO to Ashman's Altar to get two more, and then you would have enough. Basically, if I if I had enough mana to equip, I'd be in really, really wait, good shape right now. Wait, but wouldn't you would okay, so you, doesn't this work if you okay you sacrifice Ao to Ashnon's altar, and then mm. you stack the trigger so Ao's trigger death trigger resolves before Nim Death Mantle, and then if you hit cr- a creature, you can sacrifice a creature before the Nim Death Mantle trigger uh, happens, and then you can have enough to get back Ao. 
Doesn't that work? Maybe. I think that's how it works. You have to get lucky. You have to hit a creature, obviously, but isn't that it, the idea? That is that is that is a big part of the idea, yeah. I think you could have done it. So. It's possible. <laughs> it's, it's possible. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I'm gonna check the primer real quick here thank <laughs> you yeah. uh, you know while you consult that I will also consult my primer primer's all check around to, check to see oh the OBS is still still running magnifique alright so let's see what do you tutor for Comedian, tell me, tell me your secrets. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, Phil, do not activate mm. in the Narset. <laughs> do not activate in. Yeah, yeah. Narset. Come on, Phil. Plus one, plus one. You got it. <laughs> You're good. Do not. <laughs> I almost think about. Uh, I mean, next turn, Toma will attack, and the board will probably be completely stacked out. Right. What? Yeah, Tomer's in really, really good shape here. I still have to. I still have to <laughs> hit Man, stuff I before. That's I know. why I don't like CEDH. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. But oh lord, is this? I'm. I'm not sure where I'm going with this, but uh, let's just do it. You gotta Your play to win, win Phil. Okay, you're yeah, not here yeah, to I not know. play to win. <laughs> yeah, you really usually don't yep. play to win. Uh, All cool. right, but the graveyard is. Two fetches and a dress down, so it's not a ton. You can't... No, I just really need that dress down. If oh, I... he needs a dress down to get around that ether swarm. Can't. Oh, but you can't even cast the dress yeah. down now. Oh but... right! Like, oh, like the that. canonist. Because oh, canonist says if you cast can... another artifact, Man, can spell, you can't school. cast another. This is awful. <laughs> oh no, poor <laughs> Phil. Oh no. <laughs> well, oh boy. <laughs> I just wanted to play that. I just wanted to play a little uh, idea. Well. Plus, and plus CDA one Amina to, really to get a land. Yeah, yeah you no. plus one Amina. This way you get a shuffle away, whatever uh, you want. I appreciate the, the, the card draw, though. Thank you. Look at how untouched Aminatu is. Why Why don't they just play, like, I don't know, Agent of Treachery or something? <laughs> this would be so much better yet. Oh, CDH is so far off regular commander. It's... Uh. Oh man, yeah, that, the comments. That's, yeah. that's true. If you just had like a mole drifter or something, I guess yeah, the Narset would I shut would that be, down. But uh, yeah, but <laughs> a ravenous <God>. chupacabra. <laughs> Damn, this sucks. Yeah, I'm not gonna ever win through this canonist. I'm just gonna pass and hope to die quick. <laughs> I I, I can't even activate my Aminatu. It's, uh, you can. Jeez. Oh, I can. Yeah. No, you can. Yeah. Still, you still can. Like that. You can always tick up. Yeah, then you get to Please ultimate. Please attack me first. Yeah, and then you get to ultimate, and then and then rotate everything over left or right. Can you cast this? No. Never mind. All right, move to my turn. Oh yeah. All right. There's no ranger captain. Yeah, there's not. Okay. There's no. You may freely do things at this Save point. Save us, Cram. Save us. All right. What Maybe. are the odds that he found the office of the <laughs> Well, you don't actually search your library with Winona, so yeah, I, I know, I know, something I know. Else. I know, I know, I know. But uh, I'm gonna play a planes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to yeah. Come on, there we go, there we go. I don't know what I'm searching for, but I'm just gonna be, uh, as they say, the cool kids say, YOLO. Recruiter okay. of the guard. Okay. Search your library for a creature card, toughness two or less. Reveal it. Put it into your hand. Mm -hmm. Can you save us, Cram? Uh, well, I have one spell. Um, yes. we're uh -huh. going to wait until, <laughs> until uh, for for a little bit here. Okay. okay. Great success. Oh. Um, no, use no, ability. No attack. I think I think I know what I'm supposed to get. I think I know what I'm supposed to get. Mm -hmm. You played your land for turn, right? I did. Yes. yes. Correct. Okay. I don't know why that's relevant. Stop scaring me. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it matters here. It matters. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, this makes so much mana, though. 
Oh yeah, I can just get Dockside. That's fun. Dockside's always good. That's yeah. that, that card wins the game usually. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Checking the primer, checking the primer. Sorry, editor. You're gonna have to do some extra work. Um yes. Yes. Cass. Okay. Um Oh no no no, I don't want to do that. No. I don't think I'd go for that. Ah, an activity timer. Jeez. <laughs> wow. So toxic tomer, you're already throwing, installing us. Are you roping the table? Roping. Intentionally roping, roping us wow. with Winota. Such a Winota this, player. Yeah. You got the Winota a million creatures. No. You gotta rope them before you attack and win. <laughs> uh, I mean, we'll just grab this. I think this is fine. Right? It can't be wrong. And if it's wrong, I don't want to be right, you know? Is it dock side? Yeah. yeah. I think that's yeah, like... I mean, you I mean, can't really go wrong with a dock side. It's going to be a right. million mana when you can cast it. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Let's just, let's just play dock side. I don't know about that artwork, well, but yeah. I don't think you're playing it this turn, though. Ah, jeez. I'm so silly. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and the, thankfully, oh. Ether's Wearing Cannon is impacts every player and not just Tomer. So Tomer can't cast a spell. Cram, save yeah, us. I mean, it's not as bad as the. Wish I, was, I wish so. I had that, think wish I had that chain of vapor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be really good here. Uh, well, we are attacking. So let's attack Amanatu. Oh, let's. Yes, please end me. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Let's attack Amanatu. Let's attack Narset. Let's attack Narset. And let's attack Narset. <clears throat> Alright. Can't believe I. Ugh. Oh, this one cannon is hurting me. It's not supposed to hurt me. Aww. Alright, I have to. I have to. Stack this properly. So signal class, I want to apply last. So I'm clicking it first. And then there we go. Easy. Beautiful. All right. E so. Easy life. So only three only three uh, spins of wheels. Yeah. So we're going to we're gonna stack this AO and see if we can hit anything Ayo. that is helpful here. AO. Uh, so. You better do it before you sacrifice. <laughs> we will make two mana. Oh, I could have done more things. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. We will see what AO reveals. Yeah, I could have I could have played that a lot better. In I many see. different ways. <laughs> You're setting up for the next turn, Doc side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Of course. No, I, I even screwed up beyond that, if you can believe it. Um so let's see. One. It's a it's a land that I never two. play. So, did you attack me at all, Tomer? Out of curiosity. No, I figured you had AO shenanigans. I'm just attacking the planeswalkers. I'm sending five damage at Amanatu, and I'm sending a couple like like three damage at Narset. As opposed okay, to so just we've... straight up hitting us, I'm I'm surprised. Uh, no, I want we... you to suffer. So I don't want okay. you to die that. Early. I already am. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the most competitive CDH weeks of all time. We have, <laughs> we've all no. made some pretty hilarious misplays along the way. I, I think attacking the the planeswalker. No, not correct, that. But... That's that's not the misplay. <laughs> oh yeah, no casting casting mm. recruiter of the guard instead of something else was a huge misplay, and then uh, not casting a, a, a channeling a, some, something else was a misplay. So yeah, there it is. All right, so what we did here is that we sacked the AO. Oh, my God. And then we put some creatures into play. Oh, my but God. But then we got back the AO thanks to our Nim Death Mantle. So now we're going to sack the AO again. One of the one of the gimmicks of this deck, according to Charles the White Guy, one of the biggest upsides is uh, you can go off at instant speed, which is kind of unique in, in Commander. So we're going to sack this cool AO combo. again. This is actually the mono white ad nauseum. This yeah. loop right here. So we're going to leave AO in the graveyard. You got to stack the trigger so death mana resolves last. You get to look at the AO cards. As long as you hit at least a creature or source of mana, 
Then you get to do it again and do it again and do it again. Uh, so we're going to take, let's see, Spirit of Labyrinth Restoration Specialist, put them into play. So this, the only downside of this is it's not a, it's not a deterministic loop. So mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent to win the game here. I'm hoping that I will win the game here, but it's not a hundred percent. So we might have to do this for a while. So AO comes back. <laughs> and then we get to sack AO to the Ashnod's <laughs> altar to dig four cards deep. Stack our triggers. A, oh boy. This, this gets is around so like uh like any like denial of card draw and stuff too. Like it gets around basically all anything. The, yeah, yeah. It's also under under the the thing of everything. So, That's so cool. So I <clears throat> ideally you spin enough that you spin into another combo that is actually lethal. Mm hmm. Ooh. Hmm. That's an interesting pile. What is our actual plan for winning the game though? <laughs> <laughs> Having a bunch of three ones or something. Oh, I mean, uh, winning the game right now. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, we'll get this. We'll get are this. we straight up dead? Like, if right now, I guess, like, what would Tomer hit? I have no like, idea. Blade Historian? I don't think there's anything I can hit that will win the game right now. Like, my, my main condition is, like, Kiki combos. But, like, I need to be in the, I need to be pre, pre combat to do that. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't I think mean, I'm winning. This, I'm, I don't think I'm winning on this combat for sure. Oh, did you just get the gift of immortality? Mortality. Oh no! Oh. No, but gift of immortality only returns to the end step. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't oh, do yeah. as much as you probably think. Yeah. It's gonna get back my Sarah ascended eventually. The question is, do I win here? That's the real question. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see I if mean, I can punt my way could. through this. <laughs> We're close. We're super close. So we get this. I think I need one more piece, and then I should deterministically have the win here. Um, so we're gonna get a random creature, but also Leonin Relic Warder. Nice. Which is a two drop that when it ETBs you next silent artifact or an enchantment. Um, none of these actually matter, but this this is how I can generate the infinite death triggers. So once I, so it is a cleric. So now all I got to do is not whiff on finding relic, whatever it's called, the the cleric blood artist thing. Oh, and yes. and then I have infinite damage. Whenever infinite a creature rain. dies, uh, whenever a creature dies as a cleric, you get to like drain the table. Yeah. The and there's, <clears throat> yeah. And then basically I can use Leon and Relic Order. I can tap my mana vault for three mana. Yeah. Relic Order exiles Ooh. it. I sack it. It comes back into play untapped. So then I can sacrifice it an infinite amount of times. And that will, that will actually win the game. That will do it. But you still have to find the, the Relic. So basically I just keep AOing until, until I hit that. And once I hit that, I think I actually just deterministically win. I'm gonna press that F6. Is so sweet. My God. I'm pressing F6. Uh, now. Yeah, the sec is <laughs> absolutely wild. I wish uh I wish you were there to hear Charles describe it. He was just like so passionate and so into this deck that it it totally sold me on playing it. Just hearing Charles talk about this deck and like how cool it was, how many sweet lines there were. It totally once I heard we're doing CDH week, I just immediately was like, okay, I'm gonna I gotta try this deck. Yeah. All right, let's just hit this last piece and then we can actually mono white and actually hit it. it. <laughs> ha! Ayo! Ayo! <laughs> we found it. We found it. Okay, so now we get the relic file. Okay. 
Relic Vio, whenever a creature you control dies, if you have a cleric, you lose a life, or gain a life, your opponent loses a life. So now we go into loop number two. Oh my goodness. Let me just demonstrate this, and then if y'all want to scoop, you can. So so this loop is, I take and sacrifice Leon and Relic Order. That dies. <laughs> oh my god, this deck. <laughs> Everything's so harder on it. Oh, it is. It would be so much easier in paper because I could just be like, "Oh, I'm doing this," and I win. Yeah. Um. So we get all the we get all the triggers. Just gonna make sure we stack them properly. Still, look at this stack that's been storing up of stuff I didn't want to resolve. Uh. So, okay. So now this is deterministic. Relic file drains you. So everyone loses a life. I gain a life. I get back with the Nim Death Mantle, the Relic Warder now. The Relic Warder can target my own things. So when it comes into play, I'm going to target my own. Uh, let's go with Mana Vault. So I'm going to target my Mana Vault. It's going to get exiled by Relic Warder. Now I can sack the Relic Warder to the Ashnod's Altar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My mana vault's gonna come back into play untapped. So now I'm making five mana every time I sack Relic Order. And so it's only four to reanimate it. Yeah. So you're netting so this, you're netting I'm one netting pose. a mana now. And you're doing the mana's, times. The mana is not actually relevant at this point. Yeah. I just need enough that I can keep doing this. Yeah. But um basically doing this an infinite amount of times will give me infinite relic file triggers which will drain you all out of the Wait, game and let so me so the the death mantle is what's returning the relic order right yeah yes. can you can you can you get rid of the death mantle i got grand abolisher <laughs> i don't know okay. i mean if I you can think interact you with it somehow otawara but... one time uh, otawara like would would allow me to like get rid of it right no, but you not just through the it. abolisher. No, the no, abolisher the, prevents activated abilities. Yeah, you can't use oh, abilities. Okay. Yeah, Dang. abolisher is pretty hard. Hate. Oh no, oh, so he would just recast. Active, no, 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 no. He can't. It's on your turn. Actually, grand abolisher is just activate abilities of artifacts, creatures, or enchantments. So, Oravara. It's would also not. It's also not uh, Seth's turn. It's my turn because remember oh, I, yeah, I was attacking. That is also <laughs> correct. Oh, that's true. Oh yeah, you're right. It's not even my. <laughs> I have oh, those three. Those three, three, three were no triggers. All right, so now you can see I get back the mana vault, so I can tap this. I can do it again. Does anyone have a way to interact with this, or do I need no. to do this like fifty I more will times? Say GG. <laughs> that GGs. was very cool. Oh, my well done. Well Ad done. Oh. Ayo. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> all right wow that was wild well yeah. sorry to make you sit through that but that was really no, that cool was so i didn't know that mono white combo yeah. could be a thing in cdh and this deck actually felt really good like that was all during tomer's turn that was during mm -hmm. so i'm safe to stop doing this then we're, i we're thought conceding. you were making a, a mistake know, on conceding. doing it on i'm not doing it on your turn maybe i you and i think that maybe in. Maybe I did make a mistake by not just going for it on my turn. I wasn't really thinking through that, like, I could hit a Grand Abolish or I could hit things that would give me more protection on my turn. I hmm. was thinking, oh, one of the things they told me that was cool about this deck is you get to go off instant speed. So I might as well, like, go off instant speed and, like, show what the deck can do. But that probably was actually suboptimal, I guess, to wait. You, you know what would be actually kind of interesting? No, activated abilities. No, I, would, I was going to say it would be interesting to do on Phil's turn because he had his Grand Abolish route, but then you wouldn't be able to activate Nim Death Mental and stuff. So, no, that would that not was, be good. That's when I definitely thought I punted because when I passed, I was like, oh, I can just do this whenever I want to. If anything goes wrong, I'll just combo. And I forgot that Phil had the Grand Abolish here. And I was like, oh, no, if someone just like kills my AO here or something, like I can't do anything. I'll just be. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that was really sweet. Uh, we got to see your entire deck. So I'm going to skip over your the closing yeah. thoughts. No, no need one. to no need to talk about uh, that one. You saw it. Mono Wait Ad Nauseam. AO. Yeah. And now I'll shut up. <laughs> I want to hear. I want to hear about uh, Crim's deck. So, what was the strategy there? You were going for kind of like Drago to control, but it was like, what were you uh, leading towards? What was the ultimate game plan? Uh, well, I did have Holebreaker Horror in my hand. Other, it's yes. it is just a flash deck, right? Like it is a yeah. flash control deck. So I don't have to like. I I wasn't too worried. I mean, obviously the Candidates wasn't great for me, but like 
it it wasn't the worst thing because I do everything like on your turn anyways. Uh, and I and I in case somebody had the answer to like stop my Thoracal, I did play good old just Chase Wielder of Mysteries. Um, but <laughs> like yeah, like the the deck is still using demonic consultation, Thoracal stuff like that. But it uses a lot more of like the a card advantage from Nimrus. Uh, I you know I obviously have all the flash things. The one of the cards I'm trying just for fun because I like it is Urtai Resurrected. Um, so I do have an Urtai in there, and other than that, it's just all flash, all control, and and that's the basic of it, right? Like I love my counter spells, I love my draw go, and this is the closest thing that can reward me to playing just straight up draw go. Not a single counter was cast by anyone in this game. <laughs> I, yeah, there was this, no yeah, I didn't draw any as well. Yeah. This was the thing that was weird, right? Because, like, example, my opening hand, all I had was Fluster Storm. Uh, but since this was, like, a pot of just mostly, like, you were not, just playing creatures. Uh, yeah, you were just playing creatures. So, like, this is one of those things where, like, okay, so Fluster Storm kind of sucks here. Um, mm -hmm. And so, yeah, like, I was hoping I'd draw any of my other counters. But then it, like... The problem here is, like, I am catered to, like, beating the other combo decks. So, like, I do have, like, Malevolent Hermit in here, right? I have Negates. <laughs> I have all these things that just don't do anything against uh, two of the decks. So, probably I tried to make up for that by adding more sweepers. I have Spot Removal, like Deadly Rollick. I even have Unsubstantiate to help get around uncounterable things. Um, and I'm starting to think, like, it wouldn't be the worst to just straight up add, like, a Languish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just more board wipes lean into that. Yeah, I guess it's like a meta call, right? Like you're a control deck, so you have to. Like yeah. your toolbox has to match whatever the meta game is, and in this case, like the Fluster Storm just wasn't very effective against our style of decks. But they would be good against like an Adnaz deck, right? Like, so, yeah, yeah. It just really depends on on what what you're up against and what the meta game is for your for thing to to match the removal for them. Right. I and feel like. That There's a probably problem. a lot more blue decks in general, right, Grim? Like, yeah. if you play random CDH games, I would assume you're playing against blue decks, like, really often. So it's probably just, like, a weird table to be against, like, a bunch of non-blue decks. Yeah. Right. And that's why cards like my Mystical Dispute wouldn't do anything, right? Like, well, I would, but yeah. I had to pay full, like, rate, which is, like, almost impossible to cast in CDH. <laughs> um. So, yeah, like, I don't know. I This is a good deck if I'm not playing against a table that is, like, this one. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. I definitely would like to see it again. It looks very sweet. And I mean, we've seen numerous in the, the more casual angle where you were doing a, a flash tribal, but I thought I thought CDH numerous is also very cool too. Drago control in, in that style is neat. Right. Um, all right. And then Phil, we got to see Aminatu, but we yeah. didn't see the win cons. What, what were you building up to? I mean, in the end, it boils down to Thassa's Oracle, but the ways you get there are actually pretty cool. Like, if there weren't any stacks pieces, I probably could have YOLO'd the consultation for a tutor, like a creature, like a flickerable tutor, and then there are enough winning lines. Like, the cool thing about the deck seems to be that you can get there pretty consistently with convoluted ways by flickering your... Two truck creatures like Imperial Recruit, oh, not Imperial, but the other one I'm blanking right now. The white one. Mm. Uh, Recruiter of the Guard? Recruiter of the Guard, yeah. Of the Guard, yeah. yeah. Or Spellseeker, and then you can get Spellseeker, get Entomb, Flicker it, uh, Entomb like the, the cat, the new Flicker cat is a pretty big piece there. Actually, the deck looked super sick. I just really shouldn't have played anything. And instead, everything I did backfired dramatically. So uh, <laughs> sorry to the viewers. And I'm <laughs> sorry to Henning from Oops All Salt. They are content creators as well. They are in German, though. So you know, I don't know if you understand it. But he surely has gameplay footage where uh, this actually works. So, uh, not this time, though. <laughs> <laughs> the deck seems like... I I had left so much value on the table by not having anything worth blinking. So if I yeah. just drew anything, I would have had so much better chances of doing anything. Instead, I just cast the York World to <laughs> get a fetch land. Like, ooh. And the comments. <laughs> Those stacks pieces, yeah. they're, they're tough. Well, here to I, show the game, yeah. the optimized play of CDH decks that we just picked up for the first time. 
I don't think that's what people are coming here for. Yeah. Uh, so don't don't worry about. It. I think I think we all did multiple mess ups. I know I did with my deck. Like, yep. Oof. <sighs> I, I did not know the Imperial Me Recruiter, uh, the Ether Storm Canis, was going to shut myself off, even though even though I definitely uh, read the card at some point and it kind of left my mind. Um, uh, but anyway, for my deck, uh, I really liked it. Uh, this is like, I just like, I'm, I prefer aggro decks more and more the more I play Commander, so I really enjoyed this aggressive style of stacks, beating people down, being proactive, um, and the fact that it had a bunch of combo lines too. To kind of add some depth to it, it felt like I was both stopping everybody from uh, comboing off and winning the game, while also putting a lot of pressure on them. And then even then, if like Winota gets shut down or whatever, I can still go for combo lines. I had like Goblin Recruiter into uh, like put a Goblin Snoop, and I think uh, Kiki Jiki that would allow me to go infinite. Mm. There are a lot of Kiki combos in the deck to to just infinitely kill people through combat damage. Um, and yeah, just the stacks pieces seemed very effective. Apologize to Comedian for uh, not piloting it super well. It is a really good deck, obviously. And even in in uh, like amateur hands or somebody who's just playing for the first time, it felt very powerful. Even though I didn't really know 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 what I was doing, so that says a lot about the deck itself. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed this uh, foray into CDH. Let us know what you think about uh, us playing CDH. If you want to see more of that in the future. Uh, like and subscribe as always to see more of this sort of content. Next week, I think we're doing Dragon Week, where we're going to determine which dragon is actually the strongest uh, to lead a, a Dragon Commander deck. So that's going to be really sick. Uh, hopefully, it's not more of one. Um, I'll be very sad. Please I'll be no. Very sad. Please uh, no. But that's it, everybody. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. And until next time, friends. See ya. Hey.